you know, it's another thing to be able, when you when we say we have boundaries, it's not really at the end of the day just for you. This is about teaching others how to treat you, but also you're giving other people a gift um, to maybe reconsider that the way that they do life around food and body isn't good for them either and to have them be curious about that. That doesn't always work out that way. It doesn't always happen. Some people are just, they're going to have so much of their own unprocessed stuff that they just can't go there. But so for some people, they start to realize that maybe this idolization of food and body wasn't my original thought and I learned this too. It doesn't make me feel good either. So you are actually giving people a gift by having a boundary around food and body talk as well. So I could talk about this topic honestly for hours and hours and how vital and important it is not only for your own recovery, for your own becoming, for your own ability to learn to speak through your what's important to you in your life and your own values and morals, but um, it, it's a gift to everything around you anyway. So not that you should do it for others, but there will be a gift out of that. So I wouldn't encourage you all th with that today. Just know that like, you know, diet culture is not your friend. We all know that. It's a very sinister business. Um, it goes against, you know, how biology works. It gets you to think that um, there's a hierarchy here of good bodies, bad bodies, and all the things. And it doesn't actually make us belong with uh, each other the way it promises. It's just a big lie. And the more you can have a boundary around that belief in your head that like, I will never belong in the way my soul really wants, do it diet culture's way. It just will never happen. You get there and then you're sick, <laughs> basically. And everything you wanted is still out of reach. So that's why boundaries are so important. Yeah. So we have a reader here saying boundaries are something that I have been practicing, setting, and holding. I've never thought about it related to food. It's imperative if you want to have some space to have time to grow and to really have a settled solid. I'm talking like I have, feel like there's a steel rod in me. I'm solid inside of like I know how to feed myself. I know how to get the information I need and leave all the rest of the garbage and not second guess or gaslight myself. And I even know how to be around other people who have food and body issues with a lot of compassion and a boundary around even soaking in their suffering. You learn how to do that. If we start to do it with this issue saying, you know, it makes me really uncomfortable when you're constantly talking about how little you can eat because it's hard to focus on the the, the belonging here together, now it's just about how you think you, what you think you're worth based on how little you eat or not, that kind of stuff. It's okay to say those things. If everything's done in truth and love, then everybody gets to grow. So don't be afraid to try it out. And if you have any questions about how to do that, maybe more personally in your unique circumstances, please reach out. I'd be happy to do a call with you and, and see maybe some little nuance that might help you. So thank you all so much for watching. If you're watching the replay, um, thank you for doing that. You could put that in the comments below so we know. And thank you for all my live watchers here right now. I appreciate you so much. And if you found this valuable, please share it with other people that need to hear it too. So thank you so much and take care and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.